Yes, sister. Uh, Assalamualaikum. My name is Satya and I'm still student. Uh, I once before tried to prove my non-Muslim friend uh, uh, by using the scientific fact. Uh, but she questioned me. Uh, she questioned me back uh, if the Quran had mentioned about all the scientific fact and the theory before about 1,400 1, years ago but why the one who discovered and developed all the theories and all the scientific fact was not non-Muslim itself thank you this is a very important question that if Quran has spoken about so many scientific facts 14 years back, so why aren't Muslims who have discovered all this? Sister, if you read history, from the 8th to the 12th centuries, the Europeans called it the Dark Ages. It was dark for the Europeans, but the Muslims were the most advanced. The amount of scientific discoveries they made is phenomenal. At that time, Arabic was at speak. If you wanted to do research in science, it was compulsory you had to learn Arabic. And if you, if you go back to history, it is the Western media which is hiding. If you read history, we come to know that, you know the word 1, 2, 3, 4 you learn in school in English language? One, what's it called? 1, 2, 3, 4, what's it called? Arabic numerals. You know why? Because previously they believed in Roman numerals. The Indians, they discovered the zero. The Muslims came and put the decimal point and described the Arabic numerals. The one, two, three, four we write in English is called as Arabic numerals discovered by the Muslims. If you know about trigonometry, the Pythagoras theorem. You know Pythagoras theorem? Yes. The sum, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the other two sides of a triangle. It is discovered by whom? By al Abtusi, a Muslim. You know the first person drew the world map? It was al Idrusi in 1154. When the Muslim drew the world map, the South Pole was on top, North Pole down, Kaaba was in the center. The Western cartographers came and turned the map upside down. North Pole down, North Pole top, South Pole down, yet mashallah, Kaaba is in the center. So the first person who drew the world map was a Muslim. Further, if you read, if you read about Al-Biruni, Al-Biruni was the person who did so much, so much of advances in science and technology. If you know about Aristotle of the East, it, Avicenna, Avicenna, it is Ali ibn Sina, Aristotle of the East, Muslim, the father of chemistry, Geber, Geber, it is not Geber, it is Jabir, Jabir ibn Hayyan, he was the father of chemistry. The word alcohol is derived from the Arabic word Al-Gul, meaning evil spirit. Alcohol is derived from the Arabic word Al-Gul, meaning evil spirit. The father of chemistry was a Muslim, Jabir. But when we read in the book, it's Jabir. Jabir sounds like a Western. It's not Jabir, it is Jabir. The first person who, 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 had, who, who calculated the circumference of the earth, when the people thought the earth was flat, were three brothers, Shakir, Muhammad and Ahmed, at the angle at the Red Sea. If you know, the person who first propounded the theory of relativity, Al-Kindi, it was Albert Einstein who later on made, made more details. But the first person who propounded the theory of relativity was al Kindi. I can give one list of Muslim scientists. What is the media doing? It is hiding these things. Because they don't want to say that Islam is on top of the world. What we have to do? We have to go back to history. And that time the people were strong on top of the world because they were close to Quran and Sunnah. Today we have gone away from Quran and Sunnah, therefore we are down. Once we go back to Quran and Sunnah, inshallah we will be on top of the world. Hope that answers the question, sister. Thank you.